Hello once again guys and welcome back to Rally GB part 2 and as you can see here we've uh, collected some da damage from the last stages so we're going to have to repair that before we get started on stage 3 of day 2 and as you can see taking a long time there we've only got 20 minutes of repair time so it's st going to take us a long time but we should get it done within the time limit and there we go all repairs done and selecting tires as you can see 2% but unstable so I think we're going to go with dry gravel tires and as we do there select in due time dry gravel so then going on to stage 3 and we've got to make a push now because with those mistakes we have dropped well down the leaderboard into 6th place with only 3 points on offer and off the start line here getting a nice start and uh, really it's got off to a good start here down through the, this ruttiness of the circuit it's well known that getting stuck in the ruts in Rally GB is one of the killers and these water splashes so you just got to be careful going around to them down into the ditch as you can see they're getting stuck again on the rut and that time not using the rut to our advantage so actually getting pushed out wide nearly hitting and these bridges nearly hitting the wall as I was saying and uh, as you can see this stage is very much rutty and you just got to make sure you don't take too many risks and make uh, to make mistakes because these ruts will throw you out wide and will um, give you a good chance of destroying your car as you can see the trees in the forest there getting very very wide into the ditch and flicking our rear, wi rear wheel up um, but thankfully we had it going in the right direction as you can see getting really close to the wall there breaking now into the faster section going along this wide open road and just look at the lines through here staying to the inside just trying to use the whole road to our advantage and uh, sometimes the car not giving us the turn in we want to um, not sure if that's a setup problem uh, we do not use custom setups we just go with the default and uh, as you can see though drifting it very nicely taking it very calmly we need to get a good time on the board here and uh, as you can see it was a 150 uh, that is a relatively good time and it looks like we're on uh, on track for the fastest stage time they're getting it deep into the rut nicely around those bends drifting it out wide when we need to to get the car back in line and uh, it's really good when you can get a nice uh, rhythm going because you don't have to concentrate so much you just go with the flow and the car does exactly what you want it to do As you can tell, we're still being cautious on the throttle, even though we uh, we want to be aggressive here. There's no point in bottling it, because we've got some points on the table. We still need to push. End of stage 3. We've got past there, only with a cracked windscreen and maybe some bodywork damage. So anyway, as you can see, we've uh, w yeah we've set the fastest uh, time by about 7 seconds, I'd say. Uh, fastest time I can see there's 2.44 by P. Ramez and Citroen just above us so yeah clawing back some time and uh, into stage 5 sorry the stage before was stage 4 not stage 3 anyway we're going to continue again another great start and we're going to ride on board for the whole of this stage again getting it turned in too much uh, we thought the grip wouldn't be there, but as you can see, the sky's clouding over. Will we have rain on the next stage? And uh, really getting a nice rhythm through here. Just got to be careful because there's logs on the outside there. Don't want to get hooked up in those and break your wheel. down over these bumps 90 degree turn getting it nicely turned in and there's the bridge thankfully that one being very much in the open doesn't pose a big threat 
However, there is one coming up in a minute, where if you do get it wrong, as you can see we're a bit offline here, we had to correct it. This one though is the killer, and we know that in the recce but that we did before the rally. We noted that the the bridge there was very much out of position, you could go wide and smack your, well, put, put your car into the ditch and uh, thus end your race. Again, taking already seven seconds. Then, seven seconds is the le is the gap. And uh, it look it's looking like this uh, last push is uh, looking to be very effective here because we are gaining time back and we could gain a couple of positions. Uh, maybe we might even get first if we can really really put the hammer down. Over the jumps, they're really hammering the suspension not taking any type of uh, caution to these jumps just going flat out and uh, as Colin's favour saying if in doubt flat out then we're sticking to that exactly right to the book onto the next really fast section here we're going to have to go flat through most of these corners just to get into the time going over the bump and setting it up nicely into that corner Again, you can see there's just an element of caution in the, in the top speed sections just because um, we're not feeling confident with the car. Breaking down through the water splash, important to lift off the throttle through there. And then nicely again, another a couple of turns negotiated very well. And over a treacherous jump there. And uh, if we would have landed that wrong, it would have set us off into the trees there. Getting it nicely turned in. And it looks like we're coming towards the end of the stage here. What time is it going to be? Taking it pretty cautiously through here. Just getting it a bit offline there. And into the finish. We're going to have to handbrake it there just to get the car turned in. So there we go. End of stage 5. And what's the time going to be? It's another fastest time with... I can see a 137 being the fastest time. So we've taken another... Uh, about 10 seconds, 8 seconds to 10 seconds out of the computer controlled cars, so that's really good. We, we, we're we showing that we're on the pace. And here we go for the last stage, then we've got to make this count. Going wide a bit into the first turn, but keeping it on the islands, nearly, nearly clipping the boards there. As we said, we're going to throw caution to the wind here, and as you can see on the ragged edge, look at this. Sometimes we're going a bit wide just to keep the power down, but uh, we are really, really pushing. Getting it nicely turned in there, you can see that's treacherous, because if you do overshoot that, there's the bank and the trees waiting for you. Bumps, you can see they're just getting it slightly off tune and uh, clipping the billboard there, which does a 360 and then falls down. Absolutely, still better than Call of Duty. Um, getting over this jump, look at that, just keeping it on the island, just taking risks though. We really do need this to uh, be a, a fantastic stage time, just getting it perfectly turned into there. Can't really find fault in anything we're doing at the moment. Again, watching out for these ruts, and again, another rut trying to throw us out and nearly, nearly losing the back end. Oh, 
over the bumps and the camera's doing something stupid there and not even showing us where we are. But here we go. I mean, look at how we're trying to get the car slowed down for these turns. We're really not throwing it in as much as we could, but we know that we're not going to take massive chunks of time out. Even though we are the fastest, if we go that little bit more, uh, faster, we um, won't gain much more time and we have a greater risk of putting ourselves off the track. And as you can see there, we've hit the bank there and gone off nearly into the trees. Can we get it back on track? Yes, we can. I think we're going to see a replay of that. Okay, so here we go with the replay. Keeping it nicely on the island. Look at this. Completely flat out. And uh, if you notice, he called fast or flat left, uh, right, I think. It, uh, no, it was left. And uh, that completely threw us off because we thought we could take it a lot more speed but it turned out to be a quite tight corner so that nearly ended our rally with a, a one or two k's to go and uh, another flowing section here a section where you can just keep your foot down apart from here where you do have to turn obviously but through this section is a really flat out section here we go Look at that, just lifting off to stop the throttle oversteer. Uh, just keeping it nice and cool. Towards the end of the stage now. And we have successfully completed Rally GB. Fantastic, there was a lot of hiccups, a lot of crashes, but we made it and we set the fastest time again by an, uh, about 9 seconds. So, um,. Yeah, each time we went out on stage we set the fastest time apart from the two where we crashed and as you can see we're still in fifth though uh, about 30 seconds off the lead so we managed to gain back about 30 seconds and uh, got ourselves up into fifth which gives us four championship points and as you can see our teammate there going back in eighth gaining us one point in the constructors so there we go heading into look at that we set the fastest stage time first, mistake, mistake, first, first, and first. So our speed is definitely there, but we need to work on the consistency. The only did not finish is F. Martin in the uh, Peugeot. But uh, J. Fournier actually falling back, though, um, in the standings after a mistake on stage four, I think. And as you can see, up next is Rally Japan. So I'll see you then.